everyone, it is weekend vlog number 16, and I'm pretty sure it's 16. I just got off work, it's Friday, and I'm on a quest because yesterday I had a personal tragedy. Okay, not that tragic, but right when I left work yesterday, um, it's Friday Eve, feeling good. Actually, I was not feeling good. I had a horrible headache yesterday. It only got worse as the night went on. I had a horrible night of sleep last night. I still don't feel 100%, but I do feel a bit better. Anyway, as I was leaving work, I realized I had a flat tire. Just my luck. Now I really desperately need sunglasses. Um, and so now my quest is to get a new tire. This is so not the thing that I want to do tonight. But at the same time, I am kind of in like a spring cleaning kind of mood. I want to like take care of some stuff. Like I don't have any plans tonight, so who knows? I might be really boring. Look at the sad little donut. Oh, help me please. Okay, well I'm back home. Um, I got a new tire. Success. That's what this feels like right now. And um, I'm about to water my little babies, my little cactuses, and everything is like a disaster in here right now. And part of me is like really, really, really hoping that you can't see it, but I bet you can. I did laundry this week and somehow all of it is uh, kind of just still laying everywhere. My cactus babies are still very much alive and I feed them with ice cubes. And actually, I think these ice cubes are a little bit too big. I mean, too small. I am still like totally, totally, totally exhausted and um, I just had like a long talk with my mom on the phone and I think that I, like they're not going to be there tonight um, because they're going out of town but I think I'm going to go over there and pick up some mail because my mom helps me pick up my mail from my P.O. box because she's closer to it than I am. I'm a very lucky girl. There are a lot of things that like, like little like, like papery things, like email-y things. I hate that stuff. Like, ugh, I need help. Like I legitimately like need help in my life. Like there's, it's just too much right now. <sighs> yeah. At least I got a new tire. At least I did that. Eating my leftover fajitas from last night. Ta-da. And watching the finale of Girls at last. Oh my gosh, the moment that I say, oh, it feels like I'm breaking in when I'm coming into my parents' house. I couldn't turn off the alarm because I forgot one of the steps because I haven't turned off their alarm system in ages. And then it started going off like full blown, like the sirens through the house. And then I was panicking, freaking out, trying to turn it off. And then like the security system people called and I was talking on the phone and I'm like, I don't know what I thought I knew the code and for some reason it's not working and I'm just their daughter and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, what's your name, blah, blah, blah. And I was telling them and then suddenly the call drops and it's like on their house phone. So I have no idea what the deal was there. Uh, I start calling them and of course it's like super late right now so I'm like 99% sure they're asleep so I'm like waking them up and freaking out. I finally got it turned off and oh my gosh they're probably so annoyed with me right now and I feel really bad and really incompetent but but I have kind of a lot of mail so part of me feels like it was worth it. I'm not really sure. This package looks very exciting. This was the Finland thing. I wonder what's in here. So now I'm super excited to reset the alarm and take my stuff home. Sometimes I give myself heart attacks. I cannot live this way just made it home and I decided I would try to open this one package, the one from Finland on camera. I'm actually pretty sure that I've heard from the person that sent me this and I think it was on Twitter and I'm pretty sure it's candy and I'm really, really, really excited. Hello, I was right. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Why do I not know who this guy is? He looks kind of familiar. I don't know how to pronounce this, but she said these are minty. The other chocolates are incredibly smooth and creamy. And it's from Nathalie, or is it? Oh, it's Nathalie, right? Right? Okay, I really hope I'm getting that right. And then, uh, oh, this is an explanation of who this guy is. I don't know how to say these words. Uh, this is almost like they're Disney characters, uh, trolls that look like hippos, because why not? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I think I have like a new favorite thing. Oh, it's gum with xylitol. That's what my gum has in it too. 
Oh, this is what she was talking about, this smooth and creamy chocolate. Hello, come on in. More and more and tutti frutti. Oh my gosh, oh, 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 I wanna open this right now. I love y'all, like seriously, just like, even when I just like get a note in the mail, I'm just like overjoyed. You don't even know, like just that you guys actually like take the time to like put a stamp on an envelope like and hand write something that just like blows me away and then like when you like go out of the way to like give me candies of the world that I would have never had otherwise like I don't know like that's awesome I'm happy all right so I went male crazy and uh I got some really cool stuff oh no something horrible happened in the package with all the tanning products I got like four of these things all in this one and it was all gross and nasty like I guess it was this one kind of leaked on the way over to America and so I was just like washing the stuff off and I think it like immediately got on my fingertips and so I'm gonna have like spots of tanner on my hands but it's because I still want to use it I <laughs> I can't be helped guys good morning Saturday morning and I'm having some coffee and my really cute like slightly Twitter inspired cup and oatmeal that is not ready yet please do not worry about my oatmeal making skills um they are uh, very limited that's, oh, that was it. All right, I'm not sure if this camera is straight. I'm on the way to go grab lunch and I'm running late and blah. Oh, story of my life. When am I ever gonna get it together? Question of the day slash week slash month slash life. Whatever. The weather is beautiful. It's 81 degrees outside. I'm dressed like straight up summertime right now which makes me happy. Um, I probably need some sunglasses right now. I partially just feel like it might be better if I just get off the freeway. Houston traffic is a nightmare. It's facts of life. The facts of life. All right, we're recording now. Now you know. Not driving my own car, it's feeling pretty weird. I don't know for what reason. I wasn't told. It doesn't matter which, for what reason. Which reason? Which reason? I just dropped my camera on my knee and it hurts so bad and so everything's probably ruined from now on. I feel like I have to touch your face in every video. I don't think that you do. I just... That would I, get old really fast. I just want people to be like, ugh. So mad. I, I felt like the head... There were some angry comments about the face touching in the last weekend vlog and I really didn't understand <laughs> it. I felt like it immediately translated as, this is a good thing. No. This is this is consensual face touching. To us, it was good face touching. To everyone else, they had a problem with they me touching his face. Okay, so we just ate at Freebirds, and it was not great for me personally. It was not great for me either. It okay, was, so neither of us liked it. it that was, was cool. Great. Isn't it great whenever you leave a restaurant and you don't really talk about your experience while you're <laughs> there, and then later you're like, oh, we both hated that. Never again. It was horrible. My stomach It's a good spot. Yeah, but we have to walk all the way over there. Alright, so now we're going to the mall, even though we don't have time to go to the mall. I feel like people just made up their own parking spots. They really did, because there's some conflicting lines. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm just going to park here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just got home, and I felt incredibly hungry for some reason. Probably because I didn't eat all of my burrito. And so I busted open the Tim Tams, and I've never had these before and they're pretty delicious. So I went ahead and ate three of them right away and then I looked at the serving size and it was like, boom, one. Sorry for everything. Yep, these are delicious. We're about to try the pizza. There's a chance it could be slightly underwhelming, but this is gonna be an official taste test either way. Okay, I'm not gonna actually show myself taking a bite. 